A trustless interest, he says, is an amazing innovation. If you don't support it, fuck you. <laughs> Unquote. <laughs> Sportcitycoin.com Massive holders of Bitcoin, known as whales, uh, suffer a massive penalty when they claim. Unless uh, they hide the size of their holdings by splitting up the claims. And for them, it may be even more complicated than that. The chatty quasi-socialist creator uh, calls it the, uh, uh, the silly whale uh, penalty and treats it as his, uh, his attempt at re as his attempt at re-decentralization of crypto wealth from them. Uh, from them, from the, uh, from the, uh, uh, from the whales, uh, back to the masses. Hmm, ah, there's very, there are other options and deeper levels of game theorization designed to suck users into an enjoyable and strategizing regimen of their own without requiring uh, without requiring uh, frequent transactions and without, it is claimed, great energy and efficiency. Mm, how much do I take? For how long? Mm, do I look for referrals? Or should I claim on the first day? And collect a bonus? Is it worth the extra trouble? Um, mm. uh, there, is a, there is a conscious effort uh, to make uh, the coin reach out and engage the owner's love of strategy, if any. Now, uh, for the red flaggage. Hart, uh, the creator, has admitted he makes claims in conversation of being a billionaire while failing to inform uh, the listener, presumably uh, uh, a series of comely uh, interactorettes in expensive liquor bars, uh, that, uh, that it is not U.S. dollars which he possesses billions of. Uh, something more like prime coin, I gather. He has criticized the use of the word Bitcoin and other altcoins and uh, began to do something similar with Hex, which was to be referred to as, uh, as Bitcoin Hex. And now he has removed the name again. Mm, um, uh, Mr. Hart has changed his tunage, not just uh, from being a harsh critic of, of Ethereum to now, uh, now launching his project uh, on the Ethereum platform. He explains that it is now uh, more immutable than it was. Crypto commentator Jonathan Sterling, or someone claiming to be him on the internet, has uh, accused Mr. Hart of threatening to have uh, gangsters uh, rub him out, and took the matter seriously enough to create a website, aptly named oh, I'm Not Dead. <laughs> dot co dot uk. As the website was last updated in April of 2017, we may assume it is probable of that if, uh, if gangsters have in fact exterminated Mr. Sterling, uh, then the, the dirt nap uh, did not begin previous to that date. Um, uh, certainly there is a, a somewhat uh, a sleazerous and uh, gangsterly vibe, uh, tone, uh, to, to Mr. Hart's presentations. You'll have to see and judge them for yourself. Uh, you will not fail to be entertained, but may fail to be inspired uh, toward investment. Fortunately, uh, that is not uh, what is being requested of you. Only the claiming of your coins. And, uh, in fact, that is not being requested either. A trustless interest, he says, is an amazing innovation. If you don't support it, fuck you. <laughs> Unquote. <laughs> the, uh, the only 
holy trust that appears to be required, or or lamented by those now scrutinizing the allegedly impending project, uh, comes in the form of of a need to provide information, although apparently not very much, when claiming your hexes. Rare coins, pawns, gold and silver bullion. Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your metals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or as I like to call it, Port City Coin. Dot com.